Hi. Welcome to Hi. Tune Town. Welcome. Whoa. You can hear myself to Tune Town. Oh, welcome. Whoa. You can hear myself to Tune Town. Oh, whoa. whoa. You can hear myself to Tune Town. Oh, whoa. You can hear myself to Tune Town. Oh, whoa. You can hear myself to Tune Town. Oh, whoa. You can hear myself to Tune Town. Oh, whoa. You can hear myself to Tune Town. Oh, whoa. You can hear myself to Tune Town. Oh, whoa. You can hear myself to Tune Town. Oh, whoa. You can hear myself to Tune Hello everyone, and welcome to Toontown, episode 72. Toontown Online has closed on September 19th, 2013, as you can see by the screenshot. The screenshot was taken on August 20th, 2013. But I don't want to be sad about it, because I have an entire month of footage to show you guys. I think it is pretty happy to be here and be doing this, and to be thankful to have this footage and to have fun with it. I thought I would show you guys a little teaser of what's to come. So, let's roll that right now. Hey everyone. It's me, Chaz Ars. Chaz, I still need a new wallet. Um, and welcome to episode 72. Welcome to my face. This is a Let's Play, by the way, in case you're not aware of the idea of calling this episode 72 and you're, you clicked onto this. What is this? What is this? What's going on here? This is a Let's Play of mine that I've been doing for years. And the reason I'm doing some webcam IRL footage here is to humanize myself. I feel like my whole channel has been a little weird by just kind of having a voice out there, and I really felt as if I needed to put my face in there. So that way, when I get comments now, you kind of have an idea of who you're talking to. This guy. You know, it's not all just memes, it's an actual human being. You want to make a meme about the idea that I'm not a human being? Go ahead, I think I'm a robot anyways. Okay, so this is me, hello. Bing bada boom, I am the room, and um... Let's cut to my dog now. So that's, this is my dog, Ganja. I love him. And uh, his name is Ganja. Yeah. He is beautiful. He is black. And he is a mixed breed. A black Labrador or something. I don't know what the heck he is, but I love him. There's two things I want to say right now. Is one, I, one day I'm going to come back and watch this episode. And I'm going to watch it for my dog. I don't want to come back and watch this episode to listen about my weird episode 72 anxieties. I want to come back and watch my dog. Because one day he's going to be gone, and at least I'll have this. So the other thing I wanted to say was, I emphasized this in the episode, and it's that I need comments. I'm going to need some topics as to things to talk about in future episodes. And the reason being is because I can talk about absolutely anything. But I feel as if, if I use the comment section to my advantage, I can talk about things that you guys want me to talk about. Something relevant, something unrelevant, uh, something about Toontown, something not about Toontown. Anything at all. Whatever you guys think, write it down, and maybe I'll talk about it in a future episode. You know, that's pretty much all I have for you. It's been a long time coming, I know that, but it is what it is. <laughs> that's pretty much like a, you know, sometimes it be like that. <laughs> in this situation, it do be like that. So, um, alright, bye. I don't know. Probably salvage something out of that. Oh boy. So welcome to episode 72. Uh, if you're wondering as to why Tuners has 74 laugh instead of 72 laugh, be sure to check out etc13. There's a link in the description. Ooh boy. But here we are, episode 70 freaking 2. Um, a lot of people over the years have been jokingly asking me where's episode 72, and some of them haven't been joking. And so that's been a huge, I think, piece of anxiety for me. So for me to actually be doing this episode and to finally have it done, the next anxiety I'm going to have is when's episode 73. <laughs> like, I don't even think I'm joking. Each episode is going to be just a compilation of just anxiety after anxiety until it's done. But 
I'm gonna get it done, and that's great. So, those words are not gonna affect me anymore. When's the next episode? And I could say soon. And I actually mean that. And that's really happy. I smell mushrooms right now. I love mushrooms. I don't care if you don't like mushrooms. I guess I do care if you're my soulmate listening right now and you don't like mushrooms. Actually, if you're my soulmate and you're listening and you don't like mushrooms, I think I will probably s understand your point of view. I think soulmates don't have to have things in common. And do I believe in soulmates? I don't know. I think my deterioration of love has gone through a lot since episode 71. You know, when I, episode 71, I was single. Uh, episode 72, I've gone through a lot of heartbreak. <laughs> Not only have I been lazy, I've been loving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as you can see here, this episode is probably not going to feature too much actual gameplay as I'm going to kind of keep this episode a little bit raw and unfiltered because it is the episode 72. We are back. And I also want you all to be aware that um, this is post-commentary. So the rest of these episodes are going to be post-commentated. And so this commentary was recorded now within probably the past few weeks of before this was uploaded. If you're coming from episode 71, then you may have a lot of questions as to why there's a big change in quality of difference in the episode itself and why I sound really different. And I'll be hopefully able to go through all of those differences in this episode. But if you have any questions, anything, be sure to leave them in the comments. Uh, legitimately, leave anything in the comments I will be talking about whatever you guys are talking about in the comments for the next, well, the rest of the series. You're swaying the idea of my commentary. So be active, be here, and uh, let's get a discussion going, because I can't talk without your ideas. Unless you want me to talk about all of my anxieties that I've had for the past five years of not doing this series. We're doing this, and I've been really scared to do this for five years. I've put it off for so long. But mainly, I think I'm just lazy when it comes down to it. I've had only excuses. I've only had excuses as to why I haven't started this. But here we are, we're doing it, and I'm happy to be doing it. Um, there's a bunch of different forms of character that goes into my voice. I have a monotone voice. I have a giggly, happy, super energetic voice. I have a goofy voice where I can just have fun. And I'm really just going to be testing the waters with, like, what kind of voice to be portraying myself as in this series and just letting it go. I'm trying to not really be putting on much of a character, I don't think. Um, because when it comes down to it, I'm just sitting here staring at a screen of footage of me playing a game from years ago. Um, if I were to put on some sort of goofy voice, like, reacting to something that I've seen from years ago and then edited it, like a week ago. Like, I edited this footage not so long ago, like, I know what's gonna happen, and I've experienced it long ago. I, you know, there's- it's gonna be really tough to be reacting to some of this footage here, so if I don't mention some of the stuff that actually goes on in the- in the video, it's probably because I'm not paying too much attention to it. Uh, unless that is something I have to do, like, maybe I should stay in the moment, maybe I should pretend as if I'm playing it, but then that would be kind of fake. So, I think I'm just gonna be talking the way I would normally be talking, or just whatever comes out. Um, some episodes I might be extremely happy sounding, and some episodes I might just sound like this. And it really doesn't have to do with anything, it's just I don't want to put on much of a facade when it comes down to it. You know, we're always trying to attract people by out, sh out showing, <laughs> out showing, like showcasing our happiness and trying to get people into, like, we're trying to be the most attractive person in the world so that people like us. But if that's the case, like, what am I doing this series for? I don't think I'm doing this series to attract people. I'm doing this series for myself. And if myself is attracting people, then that's... I don't think who I am, I shouldn't... I don't know. There's a bit of a mind barrier that I have to cross when actually doing 
a let's play, but when it comes down to doing post commentary let's plays, I have to like cross many barriers. So I just wanted to do a little freeze frame on this moment because I thought there was something very significant about it. This is the very last frame of footage before I actually decide that I'm going to continue the let's play. Something happened between when I stopped recording this piece of footage until I went into the next piece of footage that I ultimately decided, okay, this is it. I'm doing the let's play. But I love Toontown. You know, if we can distract myself for a second here. I love Toontown. You know, you know when you're back into Toontown, when you start gardening again. If you guys are playing Toontown Rewritten, then, or any server for that matter, and they have gardening, gardening should not be a thing, because it's a daily thing that you have to keep up with. But you know you're back into Toontown when you start doing those bean combinations and doing them every single day. That's how you know you're back into Toontown. <laughs> Is it just me? It might just be me. But I don't know. I love Toontown. I've played it all my childhood, basically. Well, not all my childhood, but like, it's been there since grade six, or for as long as I can remember. Yeah, I love this game. And you know, people say they love Toontown and they might be acting sarcastic or something like that when they say that, but I, this is my favorite game. Something about the tasking makes is really fun something about the cog battles is really fun and so this being my first let's play was significant and uh i have to do this let's play uh, i'm really happy to be playing this game still to this day on servers like toontown ruin but i think when it comes down to it i won't have as much joy as i did as i did as a kid I don't know. You, there is definitely a nostalgia value that you overlook things that you think you were having so much fun back in the day. And it's kind of weird to like have Let's Plays as a time capsule for myself because I'm able to directly see how I was playing games and what my thoughts were as I was reacting to them. And even some of the thoughts I have when playing them or something like a post commentary like this I'm not showcasing all of my thoughts. In a, in a post-commentary, there is no live commentary. There's only post-commentary thoughts. So it's me reacting to the footage, and in some cases, it's, it's barely even reacting to the footage. It's kind of just a stream of thoughts. Sometimes we're not really ever in the moment of what we're talking about, <laughs> or even in the moment of reacting to things. I think I am. Most of the time when I'm reacting to things or doing my Let's Plays, I don't really hide what I'm talking about. But when it comes to this post-commentary, how am I ever going to be talking about the things of the screen on footage? If I want to, I can just be like, oh look, look at that. Wow, look at these graphics. Look at my tune. He's beautiful. 1080p. Wow. But when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, um, there's not much to say and there's going to be a lot of footage to go over and there's going to be a lot of not to, not, not much to say so i'm going to be talking about whatever you guys want me to talk about i should tell you what's been happening since episode 71 and i feel like those are some of the topics i'll be going over and having life stories of what's happened since episode 71 there are plenty many things that have happened since and you know there's plenty of stories i could tell you I've had a life ever since then. I have a job. I've graduated. Uh, so much has happened. But it's really just to pick and choose now. Like, what... <laughs> it's really about, like, what am I supposed to say? If I did start editing those episodes early on, I would have probably felt a little bit more connected to the footage, but I, um feel very distant from the footage. I'm able to edit it and have a fun time editing it and like looking at it and feel that two town vibes again and that's it's a beautiful feeling and it's freeing and it's ah, and it's so good. It's so good. I love this game. But when it comes to this commentary, there might be a huge disconnect in terms of what's actually on screen like this guy just whispered me and said thanks for making an awesome let's play and every time i look back at this footage i see myself give a sad face 
and it's funny to me every single time and I don't know why I gave a sad face like maybe I gave a sad face because I'm like oh, I'm sad that the game's going and that I don't know but anyway I think what will be the most jarring feeling about this series is the fact that I am probably a completely different person than when I was back then and yeah you're always changing time changes you but like I can't help but feel like the expectations of people wanting me to be what I was or even just being what I was or anything you know and I guess my fear is the idea that people are expecting something um, and I don't know what kind of expectations those expectations are. I just have to rule with the idea that I have to be myself or else I won't be able to live the way I am. I won't be able to be able to be me. <laughs> uh, these are words. So, yeah. Doontown episode 72. It's a real doozy. And, um, I'm excited. I am super excited, I really am. I don't know why I would have to emphasize that in a more excited voice, but um, I am super, super excited. If I wanted to have some controversial episodes and talk about things that I shouldn't really talk about, I think I'll stay away from like bad stuff, but I think I will talk controversially about some things that, you know, I'll get into stuff. I'll get into some of the weird topics, why not? We're, we've all gotten a little bit older, and if you are still young, maybe those uh, those are specific episodes that you should come back to when you are older. But I feel like there are some controversial episodes that are, are coming soon, definitely. Uh, <laughs> you know, I love this game. And I'm excited. And I'm excited for now. I'm excited for this happening in this very moment. And this to be on YouTube. This, these very words to be hitting people's eardrums. I'm excited about that. Hello, how are you? Cool. <laughs>